gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat everyone and thank you and welcome back to the channel okay i want to say thank you thank you thank you for all who have subscribed to my channel those who are on the fence please subscribe to my channel you know you're over here for the great news and entertainment and celebrity news and entertainment but um definitely sh uh, share like and subscribe to my channel and comment as well but we're going into this musty video i got it from Atlanta Black Star, and it's more so another housewife, a real housewife of Atlanta co-star is telling another co-star how to think, how to act, and how to live her life, pretty much. Yes, none other than Kenya Moore is out there telling Cynthia Bailey to stop looking stupid, stop looking thirsty. If the man wants you, he'll come and get you. <laughs> Basically, that was the gist of it. And she's taking her to school where she's going to teach Cynthia how to act and how to react. Okay? And how to try to play up a man's attention where you're not doing all the work. He's doing all the work. So school is in session for Miss Cynthia Bailey. Okay? But the article comes from Atlanta Black Star. It's written by Kirsten Willis, my girl over there, just hashing those uh, bang busters hits of entertainment gospel out to us who want to take part in reading it and actually put it on our platforms if we must okay but uh salute to her we're gonna go on and get into this article it's titled even the baby was laughing cynthia bailey admits she's thirsty after kenya moore confronts her over relationship with Mike Hill, okay? Now, I don't know who gave Kenya the green card to go into everybody else's life, try to dictate how they should be living their life, but when it comes to hers, she's a closed book. <laughs> she don't want nobody's opinion. Nobody's uh telling her how to come and go and deal with her relationships, but she's going to be the first to tell you how to get yours in order. But let's go on into the article, okay? It says Cynthia Bailey is an engaged woman now, but that wasn't always the case when she first started bragging about heading down the aisle with Mike Hill. And in a sneak peek of The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 premiere, Kenya Moore is calling her pile on the carpet. Okay. Okay, you need to stop with the whole getting ready to get engaged, Moore tells Bailey after she says she and her broadcaster, Bo, are about to become betrothed. All right, where are we are, I want to be engaged. I want to marry him, responds Bailey, looking confused at Kenya Moore. Okay, and I'm looking at confused at both of them, like, is that the pot called the kettle black? Okay. Let me think for a moment. Um, Cynthia, Kenya. Can you treat Cynthia like shit? Cynthia continues to be treated like shit. She likes being treated like shit. Okay. So it's a perfect relationship. Kenya's in control. And Cynthia's pretty much following behind everything she does and says. Now, where I get that picture from? Oh, that's right. She did Nene the same way. So she just undumped Nene and got on a team that she think is winning for the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And she's taking her position back as a follower and as a do woman. Okay? A do woman for Kenya Moore. But anyway, that was just my sidebar going back to the article. Uh, she said, I'm just saying, let the man propose when he's ready. This is what Moore replied back to Cynthia. Um, Cynthia's letting uh, Kenya know he is going to propose, Bailey states. Then let him. Why do you keep talking about it? Her pile shoots back before Bailey responded swiftly. Because I like talking about it. Okay, now you can come back with something better than because I like talking about it to Kenya Moore. Girl, you could have came back with, okay, how is your situation faring with uh, your strange Mark Daly? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you have come up with that? Said they're like, you giving all this wonderful advice, but yet you can't put your relationship back on the train tracks because this show has derailed. So I don't think I want to take any uh, advice from you. I mean, that would have been uh, chuckling. You know, that would have been a good laugh. That would have been a little kiki. Let me know Cynthia is on point. She didn't let nobody try to tell her nothing. But as we can see, 
She's sitting back there being quiet and, 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 and sucking on her sucker until somebody come get her out of her playpen because she's still a baby. She's still wet behind the ear. Damn near uh, 55, okay? And she's still acting like a child. And I'm with Kenya halfway on this. I ain't going to go all the way with Kenya because Kenya's being kind of sneaky and nasty, okay? You're going to put your so-called good friend out on Front Street. Just to make ratings and just to make it seem like you in control. You're controlling that, can you? You know, file back. You know, did you really have to be on uh, national TV on this reality show? Ratchet as it is, but we like the drama. We come back each week for more and more foolishness. But did you really have to blast like that? Did you really have to blast Cynthia of all people? Okay, we white glove and sent there all day long because we don't know which way she going to go. She goes to the east, she goes to the west, then she goes to the south, then she goes to the north. We don't know where she at. She blows like a leaf in the wind. No roots to secure her. Okay, but you just, you just really just TKO her with that. Talking about don't be running after the man. Let him propose, you know. Uh, I mean, we know she's acting kind of flighty. We know she's kind of acting a lot more immature with this situation. But, I mean, again, what happened in her childhood? What happened in Cynthia's childhood that she can't seem to just stand on her own, make her own decisions, and we'd be proud of her for that. She's always been the weakest link. She's always been in the neutral field. She wants to be on the winning team. But it just is what it is. We're going to go on back to the article. It says, um, can you just get on her by saying then let him? Why do you keep talking about it? Her pal shoots back before Bailey responds swiftly. Because I like talking about it. But up until that point, Hill had not gotten down on one knee. Meanwhile, Moore pointed out Bailey's Instagram story in which she teases fans that she was shopping for a wedding dress. Um... On Memorial Day, but it, you know, it, it turned out to be a, a shopper for the negative. She was just shopping for somebody else, and she was the bridesmaid, and she was getting a dress for their wedding, not her own. And then Moore just says, You are not engaged. Moore searched in the footage, so she was on uh, Cynthia Bailey's timeline on her Instagram account calling her out. Okay, now, does that sound like a true friend to you all? I don't know. If you got friends like her and you claim her, you damn sure don't need no enemies, okay? Because she's feeling both uh, positions strongly at the same damn time, okay? But anyway, it goes on to say, oh, you're already looking at dresses and he didn't propose? Now, ain't that a shade? Yeah, that's a whole tree. You know, with the big branches just shading you, okay? You ain't getting no sunlight because the shade is just that deep in covering, Okay? She said he didn't propose, y'all. That's coming off thirsty. Okay, then she put that part on it. You just thirsty, Cynthia. You act like you ain't going to get nobody. Okay, you got this man out here knowing your intentions of him, but you don't know his intentions of you. That's pretty much what she was saying, y'all. Mm, how did Cynthia get that? How did she drink that down? Okay, because that, that wouldn't have settled well with me at all. I would have been fuming and ready to put my hands on her, allegedly. But, you know, we know how sincere he is once again. But, um, Kenya uh, expresses that on her Instagram account, saying that's coming off thirsty. Bailey responds, fed up with the talk of her eagerness. Yes, I am thirsty. I'm marrying this man. Y'all behinds are going to be happy about it and leave me alone. Oh, my God. Is that what she responded back? I'm like, now, see, that's that, that's weak. <laughs> that was weak because you should have shut her down from the first time when she started telling you to stop talking about him. Stop talking about you going to get engaged. She don't want you to be future Ristic thinking while you putting it out there being positive and know it's gonna happen. She was shutting all that stuff down, Cynthia, and you just letting her do it. But then again, you are a follower now, aren't you? But going back to the article, it says the moment uh left fans cracking up, and they even remarked about how Moore's daughter Brooklyn, who was with her mom in the scene, giggled too. Yes, I am thirsty. Ha ha, these two are funny. Uh, why the baby start laughing though when Cynthia said that okay that was a comment another commenter said that was so cute when the baby was laughing 
Uh, still others felt more seriously had a point. I'm so Kenya in this situation, laughing my ass off. I'm happy for Cynthia, but I feel she should slow things down a bit. I mean, how long have her and Mike been dating? Question mark. Another commenter says Cynthia is too thirsty and needy. She is going to run him away because she's acting too desperate. <coughs> Excuse me, girl, please slow it down. Mike is going to get bored really quick. Let him express himself more to you in public than you do about him. That's 100% facts, as y'all said. That was just me, not in the article. Going back to the article, another commenter said, Moore isn't the only friend of Bailey who has voiced concern that she went overboard with the engagement chatter. Hey, we do know Candy Burris was the first one out the block saying, Girl, sit down somewhere. Okay, I do remember that. Candy Burris told People TV Reality Check in July that she's she told the now engaged model she was doing the most online, popping up pictures in the wedding shop before the wedding had been, uh, uh, before the wedding had been had, and you know they do a little video over there. I guess you could go see it if you want to, but I didn't want to really get into that because again she's pretty much whining. She's pretty much throwing herself out there for social media to just fully attack her because Cynthia is really acting like she first noticed what a boy was. You know what I'm saying? That first look when you became a teenager, it could have happened early on. Maybe when you were 9 or 10 years old, you knew what boys was about and you knew you liked the boys. You know what I'm saying? So that's how she's acting. Like, she ain't never had a man before. Like, she ain't never been in a relationship before. And she's like, I got to have it. I got to have it. Like, it's some candy or, or, or it's, you know, some good food she hadn't had in a while. Or it's a dress that she's been eyeing or a pair of those nice shoes, heels she's been wanting. Or a purse, you know, coming out of a little retail store or a Michael Kors or even Coach. You know, she's, like, salivating over this man. And this man ain't even giving her one third of what she's giving him out in these social media streets, you know. But y'all know how I feel about Mike and, and and Dennis McKinley. I feel there are opportunities, you know. But that's just me. That's my opinion, you know. I have it. I express it. Get it, you know. Some people kindred spirits like me. They they think the way I do, and then we have others that don't even go nowhere near that train of thought that I'm giving out. But it just is what it is. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me about it. Do y'all really think Cynthia went overboard with chasing Mike to where he got her in the palm of his hand and he's going to use her accordingly? Or does Mike Hill really do like Cynthia? And he's just playing the safe route by not divulging all of what he feels to her on social media. He just does it in the privacy of their own home or wherever their dwellings are together. And that's the way he wants to keep it. Pretty much how Mark Daly wants to keep his life out of the public eye. But uh, Kenya has no forethought about it or no sensitivity to it at all. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Miss Cynthia uh, salivating over this man like that. He's the last man on this earth and she's going to have him. Okay. But that's all I got. Remember to definitely take the polls over at my in my community feed over on my social media page, <coughs> on my YouTube channel. Get into discussion, interact with one another. And thank you for all my new subscribers. And please continue to subscribe to me, share and like all of my videos. OK, and I will see you next time on Deb Chanel's 48th World. Y'all be blessed. Bye.